Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to Kaiserreich, in which we are defending against the Russian hordes and their allies in what we know as World War III. So last time we struggled, we have actually gotten pushed back quite a bit in Germany, uh, but we've been kind of stabilized a little bit in Austria, somewhat, as well as Italy. A couple comments to go through today, though. Apparently, Italy gradually, gradually, gradually gets more cores on Italian territory. Italian territory. So that's pretty good. I didn't know that. I've actually not even played as any Italian nation in Kaiserreich yet. So I might, I might consider doing that sometime eventually. So it looks like they're getting actually stronger and stronger, which is pretty nice. Led by Amadeo the First. That's a lot of manpower. That's, that's actually really good for volunteer only. Holy cow! Uh, but yeah, cool. We're struggling. So it's recommended that I fall back on for most part of the Rhine and defend that way. That's kind of the plan, sort of. I mean, I'm just trying to defend as much as I can for now. Have, hopefully, we can inflict a lot of casualties. But it seems like the Russians are not holding the line over here. They're holding. With their allies, it's you know, Ser is this Yugoslavia? This is Ser Serbia is disgusting. Uh, but it looks like they're shifting things around. But even though we can't really do too much about it, yeah, I wouldn't recommend attacks right now. We really don't have the manpower or really the equipment for that. So kind of hang out. So yeah, T someone oh, actually a couple people recommended I guard you know the Rhine and then the Alps down here ish. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Guard with the French border. Which would be very good, even though they don't have maxed out forts like they do in base game. There's no, you know, uh, imagine no line here. It still would be good to hold here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, they really want to kick us out here. Hamburg is now the capital, which is unfortunate. Really don't try to lose, guys. I know it's 39 divisions. I know it's 39 divisions. That's so many divisions that want to kill us. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got a couple things to talk about besides that and a couple focuses. Support the British Prime Minister. You get more authoritarian democracy from daily effects of our current party popularity. You get more daily political power if you actually do that. That's not bad. Begin a Royal British tour. His support goes up higher. More war support in the UK. That's okay. We don't really need to do that higher, that one. Oh, also, we can rebuild the empire finally. So we can restore order in Northern Ireland because that focus to get them uh, auto completed when we did it. So let's go ahead and core Ireland because it's not a core for yet. And actually, how many people live up here? 1.54 million. Not bad. So, the Unionists in Northern Ireland are pleased to be back under the British rule, but they're not but not everyone in Northern Ireland, and some effort will be needed to be spent in order to restore order to the region and make the area properly part of the UK. And when within 90 days, we get a core in Ulster, which would be great. And then we're going to ask for Maltese return. The Maltese were never really under French jurisdiction and truly do want to return to British control. Now that we're back on our feet, we should ask for it at once. So we can get a core of that for ourselves as well. So that has to be really nice. See that too? Malta return. Thank you! Thank you, thank you. We get all that manpower from Malta. All that manpower. Hmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, we could do total mobilization, but we're not. Anything else here? Demand return of colonies from the Russian Republic, Australia's and Confederation, and from the French Empire. Oh, we still need to do all this stuff too, so. Uh, let's see. We've got a good amount of war support. We don't need any more. Daily legitimacy. Austria fell. Hungary, the Czechs, Muscati people have fallen as well. Uh, I kind of want to do support the British Prime Minister. I want to see how much of a difference we get for political power. It's only 25, which we currently get 1.05, so... 1.05, once that changes and that finishes up, we should know. Uh, I'm going to actually send both of you guys down here, because I, I don't want to lose this area, because that's so many divisions that are attacking. Get them in, get them in. Oh, some of the guys are retreating because they're just too god darn tired. Because they've been beaten up a lot. And the Russians are still attacking again to a degree. Which is fine, as long as they... Oh, we got Munich back. They don't... Guys, please go. Yeah, go, 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 go. I'm not sure what the Russians are doing, but that's totally fine with me. I don't know why they're death stacking down here and not defending the rest of their line, but then again, that is Serbia, so Serbia does what Serbia wants. Uh, anything else around here? You guys get down here too. 0.05. Just gotta keep an eye on that. Cool. And keep an eye on this stuff too. That'd be important. Ah, oh, America. Yes. Support equipment. This will require 400 convoys. Jesus Christ. We don't have that many convoys to work with. We really don't. Uh, do that. Do that. Do that. Keep that. Keep these fairly low for now. Oh, I don't want to do this, but do that too. We need con. We need convoys. Recon four. Nice. Very nice. So we did all this stuff. We get some military police, which would be very nice. It is 45 April 13th. So special forces were already done with. All, all artillery were done with. Ship designs might not be bad. We don't even have a navy to really work with. I don't think we even have much of an air force either. Uh, let's go with experimental rockets. We might want to make some jet rockets, maybe. Are we making even any planes, too? 
Do we have anything? Fighters? We got a few fighters. That's not bad. A few tactical bombers here and there. We have no manpower to deploy them. God flipping dang it. Urgh. Borneo's getting invaded. So be it. Whatever. As long as our allies... They're, just, they're expanding because the Russians are not doing anything, which is fine with me, but... As long as our allies continue doing stuff, I'm okay with that. So, 32% popular. Oh! Um... Yeah! Okay, so Indi India was getting walloped yesterday by Japan, but if you know what? If they want to kill each other... Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll gladly take that. This is a three-way World War Three. Now, that is nice. Russia versus me versus Japan versus Russia. Oh, that is nice. That is... I could not have asked for anything more than that. Oh, that's so good. Which means the soldiers down here should probably eventually be recalled to help fight the Russian front. Which is probably not existent right now. But hey, yeah, I'll do whatever. I can get more guns. Oh, they're going to fight over... Oh. Vladivostok, that portion has already fallen. Finland as they're... Oh, we're fighting Finland. Oh, boy. Keep watching. I don't know why they went up that way. When we really need to just defend Hamburg. That'd be so good. That'd be much better. Prussia's been called in good. So many divisions, though. And we're out of manpower. God dang it. Are we so... Oh. Alright, so this is another comment from yesterday. I asked you guys. We did this. We got some more stability and political power, which is nice. We could restore the Ministry of Defense, which we will eventually. Whether we should rely on foreign investments, which looks pretty good. Regulate industrial growth, which looks not bad. And look at that construction speed, plus 20%. And the Royal Chartered Companies. Now, there wasn't too much support for Royal Chartered Companies, so we're not going to do that. But there's support for either rely on foreign investment or regulate industrial growth. And ultimately, at the time of this recording, there was more support for regulating industrial growth. So we'll do that. Even though this is minus 10% and factory output, you get five minus... You get... 5% consumer goods factories here, compared to the 10. But you get more max factories in the state, plus 10%, and 20% more construction speed, which is great. If we're not careful, there are too many entrepreneurs who will use the current state of the British economy as a way to gain power or exploit the British people. We must be wary and regulate the regrowth of industry carefully, while making efforts not to overly restrict it, restrict it and thus slow it down. And it's only 35 days, that's so good. Expand the power systems. Ooh, we might want to do that. Hmm... How much are we still mobilizing? We are currently at 3.8%. We're still mobilizing a good amount. Let's go ahead and do that one then. Now so there's by medium amount, medium, medium. Is there a large amount? There is a large amount, but that's for 300. Jesus Christ. Uh, legacy of the revolution will be lessened. So we get... Oh, that might not be bad to save that. Yeah, we might want to save that up. Just because I don't want to get more or less weekly stability, which really sucks. We do get less political power. But we get more recruitable population factor, which would be even better. So let's save it up a little bit. 1.07, 32% still. This has got to be a hellacious area to be in right now. Go and hold for now. Go and hold. Do you have any upgrades? It doesn't look like it. Absolutely hellacious. No, you're not allowed to leave. Guys, please move. America, what are you doing? Oh, Dominion of Canada, too. What the heck are you doing? We just don't have enough divisions, man. They break over here. Hamburg is lost. We could probably retreat to Bremen. Uh, I don't want to do that, but you know what? We're going to do this first. We should not come back up here. At the very least, do that. Consolidate the line just a little bit more. Okay, so Kingdom of Italy is looking not too bad. So have Munich under us. They came back a little bit. Greece is still looking not too bad. Uh, Japan is trying to invade, which is good. India still looks pretty bad. So be it, so be it. Uh, let's see. Oh, someone also recommended... I oh, oh, hello. Wow, they're really attacking down here. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know why. Why are they attacking? Uh, do you not see how many enemies you're going to try to fight? Like, we've lost 5 million versus 2.12. But hey, y'all keep doing you. Just stop attacking me over here, please. That's all I ask. Hey, we got a first marine division. Great. Great. I'm going to throw you under Adrian, probably. Oh, but Oda Wingot is pretty good as well. Commando Trickster. I love the Trickster, but he's also Trickster. Yeah, I'm going to go with Oda here. I'm going to have you defend right here. Just do your best, for the love of God. Hey, 42%. So now we have 1.17. So that gives about 0.1 more for, was it, 25 to 50 political power? It wasn't great, but it's not bad. The Exiles return. Okay. Oh, fight the Syndicalist Resistance. Good. We'll lower that, and we'll get more political power and more output. And the Beverage Report will come by, hopefully, quickly enough. They'll hold down there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they're doing pretty well over there. Just don't lose this tile. Spanish, it arrives. Thank you, Spain. God, you know what? This is a recurring event. I think that the Spain can, or other nations, can just continually give you more and more stuff. 
So that's not bad. I like that. Actually, if we lowered our trade up, but we're actually doing pretty good on trade, so we don't need to lower that. So we're trying to build up ourselves a little bit more. Ooh, weapons manufacturers. That might be really, really good to do right now. To give you more soft attack and defense. That would be really nice. More defense and attack. Oh my goodness. I would love to do this right now. But, you know, since we already... We almost have 300 by a large amount. Oh. Pass Rent Control Act. I don't want to do that. De ooh. Decentralize it. Yeah, we could try that. It did not take long for the Cynicals to get their claws into every aspect of the British economy. Tearing out all the work-centered work laws and restrictions will help, but we must also establish new rules, lest the entire thing collapse under its own weight. The British economy must learn how to operate once again under the principle of the free market, and that will take time. Uh, that's a lot of political... That's a crap ton of political power that we don't have, that we could really use. Liberty Day! Yes! For king and country! And economic advisors go bye-bye. Modern cruiser holes. Very cool. Good. Let's grab some of that. So we could make modern cruiser holes, advanced cruiser holes. Honestly, advanced cruiser holes are probably not terrible right now. We spent a lot of political power on that, or naval XP, so that's not too bad. I'm going to save what we have for now, because these are just better flat out. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So 19.3, 38.8. 19.3, 38.8. The other one's better. Get rid of this. There you go. Actually... Goodbye. Make sure you don't have that so I don't get confused. There we go. Oh, you're done too. Cool, that's fine. Keep making more convoys because we want to keep importing more stuff. Uh, it was a Yorkshire to put everyone on. It's fine. So far, so good. We're holding, we're holding. My goodness, look at that weak division. Holy cow, that is incredibly weak. It's just a grinder, a straight up grinder down here. Fight the Cyndaclus resistance. Uh, where is it? Oh, look! Legacy of the Revolution, not bad. This is getting. We're getting less and less. But we could get more stability this way, and stability is always good to get. Hmm. 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 We can't really do much else here. Go and do that. So be it. Fight the resistance. Come on, guys, you probably might have enough strength to fight them out. Come on, guys, do something. India is not looking... Oh, God, they're taking more of India. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, but as long as they're killing each other up here, I am. I welcome that. Oh, look at that. And your IDEC review. We're going to invest 50 political power, because we can. And... Get them assisted with economy. Yeah, I would love more construction speed right now. But we're going to get them with assist with their economy. So 10 goes to 12, not bad. Get more output, because my goodness, we need more output. But hey, we're doing pretty well in trucks. Motorized. Infantry equipment, oh my goodness. Military police fee would help. Ah, yes, thank you. So we're going to make more convoys, so we can import all that stuff. Let's grab some more military police, because we can. We probably don't need it that much, but I'd still rather have it than not. How have you not gotten even higher upgrades yet? Or, like, higher levels? Makes no sense. Because you, you're defending against... At least a million soldiers. Or maybe not a million, maybe 500,000. But that's that's so many soldiers just being thrown at, at you guys. New BBC, more political power, recruitable population factor, stability, and war support. Marconi deal, that's not bad. Oh, that's so good as well. But we're going to go with the new BBC. The British Broadcasting Corporation has been turned into a wreck by the Cynicalist administration. It's time to restore it to greatness and cut it free from the leash it's been on for the last two decades. It takes a little bit more than a month to get that done and finished, which would be nice. And better signal companies. Yes, please. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Engineering. I don't like clicking on this. But we're going to try it. Why not? Maybe. Maybe eventually. The reliability really sucks, but so be it. We'll try it. I'm open to trying something new, I guess. For now. For now. Montgomery, do you have any upgrades? Does anyone here? Oh, yeah. Percy. But he's the one defending the home island, so he can't really go out. I really don't want to throw them out there. G Germany, what are you doing with your ca carrier? Why is it just sitting there? What the heck? Guys, you don't need to defend the border for now as long as you can push further up. Please push further up. Germany, good. Go get your homeland. Go. Wow. Okay, we had a little bit of manpower, but now it's gone. Hmm. Portugal's still defending down here like crazy. Even the resistance is, or attrition isn't too bad. Japan is not doing a bad job on the Russians, though. 5 million, 2.4 million. They've lost 2.1 million. We've not killed off really any of them. Burma, wow. Yeah, I'm not really focused on them. Yemen is not doing great. Federation Malaya. Anything down here? Dominion. Oh, God, that's a lot of losses. Uh, what's the Russian manpower like? Oh, they're market liberals now. Eh, 
uh, just casually having three million people there. That's all. Just, just, just three million. Good. Get back in there. I hope that we're draining them of the resources. I hope to God we are. Empire of Japan. How strong are these guys? Air production. Eh, less than a million. Okay, they're on extensive conscription. Okay, okay. We had a little few convoys, maybe? Are we still making enough convoys? I hope we are. Oh, yeah, guys. Go ahead and attack. If you can get through southern Germany, that'd be great. Us returning the German Empire to its glory for now would be probably a good thing. This has been a very odd campaign. This has been very, very odd. Like, I was not expecting us to have World War Three so soon. So, like, I was expecting, like, eventual conflict maybe with the Russians, maybe with the Japanese, but this quickly? Both? Two for a little world war like this? I wasn't expecting that. 1.17. Come on, get the new the BBC. We need that political power right now. God, the defense of these guys must be insane. Like, the, the morale has to be, like, just nuts. They're fighting 67 divisions. Jesus Christ. And there's no no planes in the air. Okay, that's, that's at least they don't have to contend with air for some reason. But that's okay. Maybe, uh, hmm. But hey, we got Stuttgart. Look at that. Stuttgart, Augsburg. Oh, uh, please, just attack somewhere here. France, Italy, guys, come on. Just make an encirclement or something. Just, just a few divisions go bye-bye. Just a few divisions. Where are you going, son? The beverage report. So, the work of William Beveridge is complete. With much fanfare, he has a supported, submitted a report officially titled Social Insurance and Allied Services to Parliament. In it, Beveridge lays out in detail the five so-called evils that damage a harmonious society and send in a way of rebuilding Britain, namely squalor, ignorance, want, idleness, and disease. It goes on to recommend implementation of a social welfare state and a national health service to bring free health care to the masses. Needless to say, the Beveridge report is extremely popular with the public and we have difficulty not implement, implementing most of its recommendations. Some excellent ideas in there. Cool, at least it's over, I guess. Uh, the National Healthcare Service, as an American, that doesn't make any sense to me. National Healthcare Service, what? 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 NHS? What? What is that? I don't understand. Mm, public recognition? No, I can't afford this bit of power. Oh, soon enough have all these guys up here giving us manpower and we don't have to deal with the resistance anymore. Oh, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. Hey, it's went up to seven. Nice. That's pretty good, too. Of course, we have the Germans in there helping us, or helping us help them defend their own land. It is what it is. Three days left. How's this construction going on? It's not great. Hey, the new BBC, though. Great. Fun the Royal Society. More research speed. Synthetic resources. Synthetic refiners. That would be nice, but we're actually okay on rubber for now. So we don't need to do that yet. Fun civilian industries. Oh, reform the British Army. Oh, more to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we could use that right now. We could use a little bit more manpower. 50,000 more soldiers. Oh, my goodness. That's the supply consumption. Better to... More division training time, though. New Royal Marines. Oh my goodness. I, we need an industry though. Marconi deal. Even though we could use more military factories too. So, Marconi Electronics is one of the largest companies still active in the UK. They're often relieved to have been released from the syndicalist shackles and are willing to return to the favor by giving the government a favorable deal and restarting the country's manufacturing sector. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. yes. Gotta build, build, build. Currently, how much political power do we get a day? We get one point something. Five! Wow, exactly. 1.5. Now that's not bad. And recruitable population factor does go up a little bit more. That would be nice. Man, we are barely mobilizing, though. Jesus. Oof. How much more... Oh, he's soon to become level 7. That'd be nice. Yes, I will gladly take whatever you can give me. We just don't have enough of anything. Uh, I would like to attack Essen, but not much is going on. This is not looking bad. They're getting all the way up to Nuremberg. That's not bad, either. Come on, Japan. Do... Uh, don't fight off... Don't beat up India. But please beat up the Russians. For the love of God, beat up the Russians. Hey, 71 factories. That's pretty good. Hey, 11, not bad, not bad. 4, uh... Oh, crap, they actually broke through! Get the Marines in there! Well, we, we're holding it back, for now. That is not looking great, not gonna lie. Advanced fire controls. Uh, we're starting to run out of things, so let's get some advanced like guns. That'd be good for, like, cruisers when we make them. Get those Marines in there. They're full strength. They should do pretty darn well. They are 40 combat width. And they have field hospitals, support artillery, recon, engineers. These guys are going to be real tough nuts to crack. Hopefully. There goes the infantry. That's fine. You know, they, they served as best as they could. Rocket engines. It's time to get some rocket engines. God, I'd love to have manpower so much. I would love manpower. Come on, Keith. Get more territory for Germany. This way they get even stronger and stronger. Germany, how are you doing, Bill? I'm the third. Okay, they're not, they have no manpower. So you better get their territory and get more manpower for them. Please. 
Uh, they're actually doing a little better in Austria, it looks like, too. That's not bad. Uh, the repeated attacks aren't looking great, though. Wait, who, who's attacking? Who the heck is attacking? America! Why are you attacking with just this? Why, why are you attacking now? That is not smart. Please, America, please. Don't be dumb. Marconi deal, we're still mobilizing. Yes, we are. A whole 1% more population, that'd be great. Oh, they are. They thrash and thrash and thrash. How close are you? You're over level 4. That's not bad. You were 88% of the way. Now you're 92%. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I want to attack this area so badly, but we need more source resources. Munster would be nice. All or nothing cruiser scheme. Cool. That's not bad. Light ships are okay. Mm, modern carriers would be good. We don't have any, have any ships. I can't even make the advanced cruisers yet, so... Big sadness. That's all I can say is big sadness. Oh, they're only attacking with 11 divisions now. And we've got a lot more reinforcements in here. Well, we've got the Canadians going. Which is good. Would anyone else like to donate to the, uh... United Kingdom government? Hiring foreign advisors? Eh, I could use more dockyard, or... Naval XP, I mean. Royal visits. We did that within the last year. Eh. Vienna Royal Tour. Increase the stability of support, war support, mobilization speed, and army morale for up to a year. Eh, that's not really worth it. Marconi deal? Great. S fun civilian industry. A great deal of the UK's civilian industry has been damaged or outright destroyed by the war. We must concentrate on rebuilding it. Yes. Get more civilian factories so we can build things faster. And then we can build more military factories. Because that would be just really, really important to do. Hey, we got another one. Less than 10,000 needed. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. We're doing better and better. Oh, we eventually did core ulcer, it looks like, probably, right? Ah, that's beautiful. We used up all that manpower immediately, though. Hmm. Vladimir, you are not doing well. Uh, how many Russians have we killed? We've killed off only 300,000. We've lost 87,000. America's lost more than us. Way more than us. Actually, how many of the how Russians lost in Japan? Not that much, but that's just for, against us. Empire of Japan has lost 850,000 to India. Not that much to the Russians, though. Uh... You guys are incredibly weak. Jesus. Uh, yeah. I, 436 convoys. Does it look like the UK has 436 convoys? Can you send convoys on those convoys? We would greatly appreciate that. So it looks like we're holding for now. Ooh, we got even more of Austria back. Nice, nice. Austria and Serbia. I can't imagine they'd be extremely strong just because they have a lot of resistance to take care of. Yeah, 50,000 manpower is not a lot, especially as Hungary is getting more and more resistance. That's nice. Japan is slowly spreading out there, just like everywhere else, sort of. Hey, you guys are actually holding. You're actually using infantry, huh? Nice. Oh, wait, hold on. 28 plus 8. So 28 is 56 plus artillery is... Is that? 56 plus 24 is usually 80. Oh, maybe they're actually using 40 with combat with divisions. That's a, yeah, go right ahead, guys. Keep, keep, keep doing that. That, that is a smart decision. Whew. At least we're using something good there. Uh, we're done with that stuff, of course. Uh, anything else? I guess we could do some nuclear bombs. I don't think we have a... I don't think we have a nuclear reactor. Maybe we do. And they're attacking. They're trying to be successful. They might find success, but in a lot of places they will not. Um, anything down here we could do? Return of the colonies. Government's in exile. Nah. Not yet. Propaganda, we're okay. Stability's still going down just a wee bit. We'll do probably fight the syndicalist resistance again, just to get start, just, just to get rid of that more and more and more. Seven percent, not ideal. Come on, they're still attacking. Oh, what happened to our allies? Why did they not help guard the area again? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Let's get rid of them. Actually, what are we almost done with? Desyndicalizing the economy. That's good. That'll be nice. So, so lessen the work, the effects of the legacy of the revolution. So we lose political power, but we get more recruitable population and lose less weekly stability, which would be nice. Hey, they actually stopped attacking. Uh, they're looking, hold on, they're looking a little weak. I wonder if we can reclaim Essen for, yes, yes. I'm not sure what the Russians are doing, but I, I like it. Get to Essen. We're going to attack Munster immediately. It's only militia divisions, so they're pretty darn weak. Yes, we'll take that too. Good, good. 1.5 a day still, not bad. Take it, good. I'll get the guys on the line. We're gonna get just go ahead and go that way. Take out Dortmund. 
Take you as well, but support it with two other divisions. Nice. Fun civilian industry. Cool. Someone capitulated, it looks like. It, okay, India still has not capitulated, which is good. China, please go to war with Japan. For the love of God, please. Continue doing it. So, a great deal of the UK's civilian industry has been damaged or outright destroyed by the war. We must concentrate on rebuilding it. That'll be good. Research speed could be good, but it's not really necessary for now. So, yeah. Especially since we're at this point in the game where it's not much... For more needs to get researched, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay not researching it for now. Uh, looks like we maybe attack there, maybe, maybe not, maybe attack here, maybe come down here, huh? That's definitely a thought. Let's let our guys move around a little bit. I'm going to watch their movements and see what they're going to do next. Advanced light guns are good. Great, 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 great. Uh, torpedo attack. You might as well do that, why not? We might use torpedoes, we, may, we might not. Alright, so you guys get right here. Send another division in with you. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. As long as they're not attacking that area. Oh, did they actually win? Oh, did they? Oh. Oh, crap. They might have actually won. Well, that's not cool. Cool. If you guys want to go back, I'm going to tell you no. Because we're going to at least encircle one division here. For the love of God, we are going to encircle at least one division. Or three divisions and kill them off. Come on. Beautiful. Begin the assault immediately. And I'll let you attack that way. There you go. But you're going to help out anyway, so. Three divisions are going to die. Nice. Oh, we actually have air, ex air support. Wow. Okay, they died really quickly. Well, I guess if you're surrounded and you have no air support. And you're getting bombarded by enemy air support. That's not bad. Oh, what happened over here? What? Mm. Hmm. Well, you guys keep trying. You're doing an okay job. It looks like a little piece of Czech territory has been released. Or captured. 14,000. Germany's got a little bit of manpower back, unlike us. Huh. Uh, I really want to push these guys back out, but no one's going to defend it except for me. If that's the case, and you're not going to do anything about that, I might. Why am I defending all this German territory? Oh, uh, that's not good. Good. Uh, I'm not so worried about that area now. I'm not worried about Hamburg, so. We might actually be able to take Hanover. I'm going to actually push you back somewhere else. I'm actually going to put you right here so we can help, like, spearhead some of these attacks. Okay, that's interesting. Oh boy, that is not good. If that's the case, could you guys all go right there and you help out? We might be able to encircle somebody here. You can defend. You can defend your britches off. Good, we smashed them there. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Come on. Ah, there we go. Nice. Immediately smashed them to bits. Okay, they just died. Okay. Why not? Why not? Hey, these guys have been circled down here, too. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm glad, Russia, you went to war with the Japanese. That was the dumbest idea you could have taken right now. Oof. Let's get our guys some time to reorganize themselves, though. That'd be good. Japan. They even made an instrument here, too. Nice. Japan. Well, they definitely met their match. Now they're overextended, hopefully, like us. Gun-wise, they're doing so much better. Just manpower. Please. Manpower. Hmm. Hmm. All right then, nice. I'm gonna wait to attack Biel Bielfeld. See what we can do about that. Maybe yes, maybe no. Get the Marines in there too. Nice. And divert your way that way, maybe next. Well, since you guys are here, you can help defend, right? And go up that way. See what we can do about that. Oh, well, I guess not. Cool. Good. Continue moving around. We lost 98,000 versus the Russian Republic, which is 2.24. That's not bad. Help, help them out. Help them out. Continue fighting civilian industry. And then we're going to do... Oh, I wanted, I need more military factors, but we're going to restore the De Ministry of Defense. The Chiefs of Staff Committee is, is insufficient. It's creating the coordination between all three services we'll need to rebuild the defense of Britain. A Ministry of Defense will, that presides over them both is just what we'll require. Good. 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 Send all you guys in. 
Okay, they just... Okay, then. Sure, why not? Why not? Hmm. If I were to be bold, I'd go right here. And cruise this way. And circle all these guys down here. I think we're going to be bold. Let's give the guys some time to do that, though. Another division, good. I wonder if that's where all our manpower must be going. Uh, anything else? Hired for an advisors. Cancel loan lease. Oh, how dare you. Alright, I'll take some loan lease. Yeah, why not? Government's in exile. Anything else we could do there? Oh, must, someone else must have fallen. Albania must have fallen. Oh. Propaganda efforts. Uh, that's not too bad. Greece has definitely suffered a little bit, but, you know, it's okay. We've all suffered a little bit here. Alright, it's time to move. Get here. I'm going to request you guys go there and then there and take the Marines with you. Actually, you go there. Let the Marines do this by themselves. Right there. Nice. If that's the case, you might be able to get down there, too. Let's see what you can do. And circle them, boys. And circle them. 1.39. That's less than before. That's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow, you the rest of these divisions are kind of slow. Not going to lie. Okay, well, they're... What are they... Why is it so easy to beat up the Russians now? Russia, do you not have... What are you not doing? They're doing air production. They got a million manpower still. Plenty of divisions. Navy's okay. Then again, this is the land area, so I don't think... Land area? I don't think their navy's probably too spectacular, but... Whatever. Well, if you can, smash them a bit. Let's get Frankfurt back. America, what are you doing with them? Well, they got... Hey, look, they got Vienna back! Nice, nice. I don't know, maybe America's doing something to them. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, America last time was not doing a bang-up job. Hey, Cloud here is level 9. It's level 7. I wish it was level 9. It's level 7 for now. Not bad. How are you getting supply? Hey, a modern carrier hold. Nice. Torpedoes, heavy launchers. If we make ships, let's make sure we can actually... Ah, oh, let's get some better landing craft. That'd be good. Nice. Get in there if you can. Hey, you must well get in there too. Hey, you got encircled. Nice. Good. Bye bye. <gasps> Manpower? 2800? 2800 guys? Ooh, not bad. The legacy of the revolution is getting better for us now. Look at that. Motor, British motor industry. Cool. What's our devastation? That's getting much better. Sinless revolution or effects of that stuff. Good. Crush them here. Just going to go over the river. You should be able to do that not too terribly hard. I don't want to do this. I want to send my tanks, but they're still so weak. They're literally the garrisons right now, if we had any. Hey! You know what? I love Spain. Thank you, Kingdom of Spain. You know, we helped you out before, and now you're paying us back. I love it. We're not mobilizing anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to a service by requirement. But I'm probably going to have to. Mm, that does not make me feel good. And now we get hit as to the construction speed that we get for this stuff. So sad. Ooh, that's a lot of divisions. Maybe just attack them there and maybe get some support from this group. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Well, we've definitely done better here. Definitely have done better. Two V one, you might be able to win. That'd be nice. Oh, you guys are really weak over there. Holy cow. Get our guys in there first, see what happens. What if we went this way? And use you two as well to help out. Hey, not bad. Now, of course they did have a militia division, so I can't you can't really count on militia too much. Ah, so new chief of staff. As we begin to restructure the British armed forces, the first priority should be to appoint a new chief of staff. Uh Ironside. More entrenchment, no. Harold Alexander. That's not bad. That helps every division. Alan Brooke. Recruit ball, population division, attack, defense, John Dill. I like that a lot. You get more artillery attack. And artillery's in everything. Ooh, infantry. I want to use mountaineers and marines a little bit more than just infantry, though. Pop more population would be nice. Don't get me wrong. Organization recovery rate would not be bad. Ooh, artillery, though. Hmm. We do use artillery in everything, and we can produce it even faster. Are we out of artillery? We're not, actually. Hmm. More attack and more defense. Mm, I guess we'll... Let's do Harold Alexander. Why not? We'll just do that one for now. 
However, from the British Army, the British Army has been under syndicalist management for 20 years, inundating our soldiers with propaganda and useless tactics. We will have to rebuild the entire organization from scratch to get Army XP, even though it's going to cost us more division training time, but to get more organization and recovery rate. Army Chaos. Oh, wow, that's not good. So, that'll help us out. Oh, wow, you actually just failed, huh? That's not good. Rocket engines, cool. Improved rocket engines, why not? Actually, we should have our Marines down here almost. Come on, guys, you take forever. How did you lose? Wow, you guys suck. Okay, so that maybe like that gave us this Army and Chaos debuff. That's really bad. Holy crudarinos. Let them starve then. Let them starve. How's the rest of the world doing? India is struggling still. Okay, then. They can defend pretty well. They can't, just can't attack. Japan is doing a great job. I'm, I'm going to assume that they're going to get a lot of resistance though by doing all what they're doing. That's a big navy. Holy crap. Oof. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alright. Hmm. Sarawak is capitulated. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Come on, guys. God dang it, come on. Yeah, I can't attack with this god dang debuff. I can't do anything with that. Ugh. Oh my goodness. More artillery, though, would be nice. Our divisions, they are they are 40 combo with, so that's good. Armor divisions, medium armor. Uh, arm, our current armor divisions. We're making a few medium tanks. I want to make them 40 combo with immediately. Hmm. Throwing in medium tanks would be a waste because we can get modern tanks, so let's, let's wait on that maybe. So we need to do that next. Guard? Eh, meh. Mountaineers look pretty good as well. Brigades? Those are doing a great job. Go to low. Go to high. They're looking pretty weak. Well, it looks like... Well, we're doing okay. It's kind of stagnated, the front line has. You guys are doing okay. You guys are over there. You guys are doing over there. Montgomery, have you learned anything? Are you doing anything, Montgomery, at all? Like, not really. He's politically connected, which is not ideal. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. We might be able to attack here, though. We might still be able to win. Good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like winning. Winning is nice. Uh, where are their divisions? You know what? Don't answer that question. I don't want to know. Just keep on moving in, guys. You're doing a great job. Break over the waterway. Oh, we got some naval XP. I just realized that. Armored cruiser hulls. That's fine. Modern cruiser hulls. Get rid of that. We're not even making them yet. Modern carriers would be nice. Modern cruiser hulls, since we're already doing this. Grab level 4. Do anything better here? Not yet. Level 4, maybe? Yes. Yes. Level 4, nice. Ooh, we already have one of these. We got plenty of anti air for now. We could get torpedo launchers. But I don't really use them for that. I want even more anti air. Like, I am all about that anti air. Even though I could should have focused a little bit more on it, but that's okay. Cool. There you go. Really good modern cruisers. Which we probably won't even ever make. Make only one of those. Uh, make only one of these, because we're going to go ahead and. Uh, do what we must with our modern carrier hulls. Oh, it's not looking good. Uh, grab some deck armor here. So up here, we're just going to grab some no, hangar space. And hangar space. And then even more hangar space. Tons and tons and tons of hangar space. More anti air. Some better radar. Some level 4 stuff. Good. Now that has a nice carrier hull. Car carrier hull. Good, good. Put at least one of them above there. Above the cruisers. Yorkshire. 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 Yorkshire? Yorkshire? I don't know. Oh, good, yeah. Okay, we did that. They immediately begin attacking. Fight the syndicalist resistance? You bet we will. Because right now, it's still... 4%. Not much, but it'll be good to do. Good. Crush this area over here. Actually, is Denmark in the... No, it's not. Oh, that is good. This will be nice. But come on. Get that done. Get that done. They still get some resources through there, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, could you all move this way? Since they have divisions helping over here now, we should be okay. Should be okay. Should be. Okay, so we got 15 and 1. That's not bad. That's looking a little better than it was before, which is good. Go ahead and move up here so they can't do anything. 
Hey, we're really weak. They must be really god awful infantry divisions. Oof. You gotta just go to Keel. Go to Keel. They don't have a lot of organization. Just beat them up. Take Keel, and they can't do anything. So, Chief of the British Army. Now that our attention has turned towards the destruction of the British Army, let us decide who will be responsible for the for its future. Ironsides, Miles Dempsey. Ooh, that's spy consumption. More division organization. More defense. I like defense, but let's go with Dempsey. Dempsey sounds like a nice guy. A new call to arms. Let's do that immediately. With the British Army rebelled, the time has come to send out the call for recruitment once more. Let the men and women of the free United Kingdom take their place at the forefront of its defense so that we may never know the grip of tyranny once again. Get more worse, but I'm really about that 50,000 more manpower. That'll be nice. And hold on to Kiel. Oh, they wanted us to, they didn't want us to get Kiel. That is good. That is good. All right, at this point, if you can't do this, I'll be very disappointed. All right, so now this army stuff, where is it? That's a little bit better. You should be able to win. You should, really should. Especially if they're starving. I know it's eight divisions. I know you're fighting kind of over a river. But even then, not bad. Man, he's really good. Supply consumption minus 22.5%. Do they even, like, suck on anything? Like, do they even need any supply after having all that stuff? Put them out of their misery. Don't let them move. Don't let them move. Okay, now we can finally do stuff a little bit better. Oof. Get us, those get us that manpower, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're, they're getting crushed. Oh, I love it. Finally. Finally, we can do something here. 12? Oh, it's like 15 divisions there. Yeah, it's more like 14, maybe. 13, maybe. I don't know. Crush them, kill them. Good! Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to keep my marine down here. Should have got a mountaineer, but whatever. We're going to crush this area down here, too. Very, very good. Ah, oh, this is nice. What? What? Oh, hold on. Where did my allies go? Why am I left to defend or fight off northern Germany? What the heck, guys? Well, Germany, why don't you put a carrier back in here? I know they're detached. They have no organization. What is going on? I have no idea. Alright, so they might be getting a little supplies through Flensburg, but not that much. Let them starve a little bit. But we are on the border with Prussia, which is not bad. They've, oh, they've stacked up their soldiers some more on the border. These guys are coming back a little bit. Vienna is still ours. How is Russia doing? Portugal's actually expanded just a little bit. They're having a little bit of a moment trying to attack through impassable terrain, but okay. And Japan is just... I don't know, Japan. What is Japan? What are you doing? Like, how are you? What are you up to? You're running out of manpower, which is a good thing. You got plenty of divisions, though. Let's grab whatever they want to give us. And anything else down here? Yeah, we should be able to take these guys out, and that'll suck up a lot more supply because since they won't get Carl's Rua, Rua. The new called arms gave me that manpower. Holy please, we need manpower. Oh, good. Yeah, attack them. Oh, they're attacking us in, in return too. Help support the attack if you can, at all. No, I guess not really. Cool, that's fine. Help attack down there. These guys will die. That'll be great. Woof! I'll probably call the Marines up here because things are not looking great up here. Um, I really doubt we could do anything around here. Can we do anything? We might be able to. Yeah, maybe. Magnetic detonators. Grab some improved ammunition. Alright, seems like we can do something over there. Nice. How's this looking? Not bad. Help out down here if you can. If they, we really need it. Of course, you know what? Don't even go down there. Just come up here. Oh, we're going to need you guys to help break over the river. That is not ideal. Anything else? Hire for an naval advisor. Uh, government's in exile. Still nothing. Propaganda efforts? Probably not. Uh, leave the IEDC. Visit to Puerto Rico. Eh, I think we're okay. Currently, we have 1.39 political power a day. Oh, they are attacking us. Good. Oh, man, those Marines got up here quickly. <gasps> 50,000 manpower. Ah, oh, yes. Restore MI6. Training efforts, yes. The question of cynical soldiers. A large number of soldiers who fought for the cynicalists are now backing, are now back and look to re-enlist in their new army. The question is, do we let them back in? It's a very good question. And then we're going to get, get through that event, and then we're going to call it an episode, just because... I'll, I think I'm going to make this into a little bit of a time lapse. So at the end of this episode, I'm going to show you a couple of the, event, the focuses that I will be doing, so if you want to read them, you totally can. Uh, it is 46 right now, so it's just in January. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Flensburg, hopefully they don't navally invade us in Kiel. Yes, we still don't have enough convoys, though. Really sucks. Whatever. Uh, we could have a lot more divisions if we really wanted to, but we can't do that. Get up there, and then you guys get up there. Crush these Russian soldiers. Crush them, crush them, crush them. Ah, I love having manpower. Finally. Finally. 
a lot of guys over here. Huh. Good, 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 good. And get back to the line. Oh, our allies are trying to invade Rostock. Uh, I don't think we can do much there to help you out. But they did land. So I guess it's worth trying, maybe. Maybe not. It does not look like it's being very successful. I don't think you... Oh, they invaded over... Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not a bad idea. Let me come from here to Staten. That might not be a bad idea, either. Let them spread out. This might divert a lot of soldiers away from the front line. How long would this take to do? Oh, in a few days? Uh, you might as well. Um... Hey, we're looking like we got a lot more soldiers here. Uh, but it's definitely turned to a little bit more of a stalemate now, since we got so many soldiers, and we don't have really have an air force. I want to attack here, though. I'd love to attack there, but we still have no manpower. Hmm. Big sad. Big, big sad. One division right there, huh? Can we go? Well, as long as our allies have naval superiority, I guess they can, yeah. I don't have a navy, so... Oh, never mind. I do have a navy. Oh, it's a carrier. Oh, I want to use you. I want to... Oh, this is dangerous. I should... I could use you as naval exercises, but... Mm, I should, probably really shouldn't do that. Barrel Gerard Dickens. Admiral Dickens. Welcome aboard. Oh, did you lose? You must have lost. That sucks. Jet fighters. Yes, we'll do that. Um, please don't go here. Please don't die over here, please. Uh, investments. Go with a... A naval doctor wouldn't be bad. <clears throat> Civilian factories we can build, 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 build. Alright, so we got in here. Just don't lose. I said don't lose. Oh, crap. We sent him to die. Oh, no. Oh, crap. That's not good. You say you can win? Let's we'll see what you can do. I should have not trusted my generals. I really should not have. Oh, my goodness. Well, god dang it, I listened to my generals. I'd rather just disband them now, then. So be it. That was such a bad idea. I'm so sorry. That was just a stupid idea for me. I thought I could trust the, my allies. I thought I could, but I cannot. Now let's get to the last focus, and then we'll call it an episode. And the event, too. So, that would be good to do. So, the question is Seneca's recruits. Now that the British Army is back on its feet, there's a whole line of men waiting to enlist or re-enlist, considering many of them once served in the Union of Britain's forces. The question is, do we take these men back? Many of them were luckily just doing as they were told yes, but surely there are some cynical sympathizers among them. Can we risk the possibility of having them in our army? We won't take any at all. Pure recruits. That's not bad. More recovery rate. We'll take some after careful screening. We need manpower. We'll take as many as we want to re-enlist. We're not going to lose political power. I'm not going to do that. Well, we won't do this one. As much as I'd love to, we're not going to do that. We do get stability. Ooh, let me get... Oh, mm. How many soldiers do we got now? We're still mobilizing quite a bit. I want more political power. Ugh, just do that one. God dang it. Expand the power system? That sounds like a, probably a pretty good thing to do. Let's go and do that. And... Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to do probably another time lapse here. Probably won't take too long, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to probably do, eventually do retraining efforts. So if you want to read about that one, go right ahead. And then I'll probably do Restore MI6, which would be very good to do. New Royal Marines. Eh, I, I might I might do this one. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm actually going to do. Uh, let's see. Prioritize the Army. Navy, which does not look bad. Or the Air Force. If you want to read about the Air Force, go right ahead. If you want to read about the Navy, go right ahead. And the Army as well. Cool. I, I will do National Arms Deal if it takes long enough to do the time lapse for this. So that's not that's actually pretty good. Uh, fun military industries, I will absolutely do that one. As well as continue military funding. I might do fund the Royal Society as well. For that's, that's a lot of research speed. And the Imperial Chemical deal might not be bad. We will probably eventually reform the Royal Navy. The Fleet in Exile. Rebuild the Glorious Fleet. Mm, that's actually not bad. More, I'll put 150%, Jesus Christ. And the National Shipbuilding deal, not bad. And funding new dockyards, not bad either. Or from the Royal Air Force. Cool. Take to the air. The Hawker deal. Defending our skies, just in case. Jet propulsion. Reopen Porter Down. The Thompson Committee. We can't do this yet. We need 25 ships in the fleet, so we're not even going to do that one yet. 
Uh, and over here, we need more than 25 ships, so that's pretty much it. So, uh, for now, I guess I will read one more for now, just because we can. We'll get, do other training efforts. There's a great deal of chaos and confusion in the ranks, we'll need to sort that out immediately, and bring the entire British army up to the practices that we are familiar with among the Canadians. Cool! But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will have defeated, hopefully, maybe, the Russians. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.